Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. In this video, I'm here with the Flip Ultra HD by Pure Digital, as well as Pure Digital's Flip Minnow HD. These two cameras are very similar. They're both by Pure Digital, they're both in the Flip branding, but they're two different models, the Ultra and the Minnow. The big difference, of course, is cosmetics. So that's what we'll start with in this comparison. First, we'll just do like that. And I'll show you the back, but I'll get back to the back in a second. So obviously, the Minnow looks better cosmetically because it's just bigger. I mean, it's smaller, rather, so it's more pocketable. It also, on the back, has touch-sensitive control. So if we uh, turn this on here, if we turn both these on, to navigate around, you just would press these buttons right here. To navigate around the Ultra, you have to use this clicking device. It's just not as nice and elegant as the touch-sensitive controls of the Minnow. The Minnow is also 3.3 ounces compared to the Ultra's 6.1 ounces. But that extra size does give you some extra benefits. The Ultra has a larger screen, but I also feel, although it does feel a little bit solid, I feel that the Ultra, they kind of made it bigger than it needed to be. I think they made it a little bit heftier just so they would have a slimmer device in the minnow to sell on the market because I definitely don't think it needs to be this thick. That's just something to keep in mind. The Ultra, like I said, has some benefits because it's bigger. It, it has 8 gigabytes of memory, so you can record double. Two hours of 720p recording compared to half that with only 4 gigabytes of memory in the Flip Minnow. Also, the Flip Ultra uses rechargeable AA batteries, so there's a lock on here. We'll pull that to the unlock position and pull this down and take it off. These are your rechargeable AA batteries that I was just talking about. Now what's really cool about this is, let's say you don't, you don't have access to a computer to charge it, you can just throw in regular AA batteries here, put these in your pocket, whatever you want to do, and you're good to go. Uh, and if you want it, and if you did that, and the next day you're ready to go back out, and you charge up the rechargeable battery pack and then you just put this part back on here it's very easy it's a very easy process you just slide it on you lock it up and you're good to go so it makes it really easy if you have a lot to record you can just hot swap batteries in and out the flip minnow definitely does not have that you just plug it in and uh... via usb patented usb and you do go ahead and do that and again it just makes it really easy that you can just hot swap batteries in and out uh, it's just something that people that I really like to have just peace of mind I suppose the ultra also has a more of a matte finish on the front so it's not as fingerprint prone and it's also more durable compared to the glossy flip minnow which is easy to scratch easy to smudge but then they put chrome on the sides which doesn't really make sense because then you lose some of that durability you use some of that fingerprint resistance because that chrome is a fingerprint magnet in terms of video out, what's really nice about the Flip Mino HD, or the Flip Ultra HD, is it has HDMI out. So you take an HDMI cable, which unfortunately isn't included in the box, but if you have one, hopefully, if you have an HDTV, you probably have an HDMI camera, a cable. You just take the cable, plug it into the device, plug it into your TV, and you can enjoy your content. Now when it comes down to it, the Ultra and the Mino both record 720p video at 30 frames per second, and compression is done via H.264. Now it has the same internal components in terms of the sensor and the lens, but they've actually done some improving on the Flip Ultra HD. So the Ultra has video processing refinements that make video look just that little bit better. Now they haven't added any type of image stabilization, whether that be digital or optical, so video is going to look really shaky. So I recommend tripod, monopod, or just hold, leaning on something and holding it very steady. But there are, like I said, some video recording improvements and video processing because the Ultra uses the Flip Video Engine 3.5 whereas the Minnow uses version 3 of that Flip Video Engine. So there are some improvements in the Ultra HD. Now although that software, it's not as though Flip is just going to send you a software update that makes those video improvements available on the Flip Minnow HD. That will not happen. So when it comes down to it, even though they're both recorded 720p, the Ultra HD is going to look just a little bit better than the Flip Minnow. 
Now, keep in mind that this is not going to look as good as a dedicated camcorder. For instance, I'm using the Canon Vixia HF100. There's no way a pocket camera such as either of these or uh, other similar cameras are going to look as good. But both of these are definitely comparable and definitely you'll enjoy watching that 720p content. So just to finish up this comparison with price, the Ultra HD is actually $30 less than the Minnow HD. So it comes down to performance, less price, more, a little bit more money, and cosmetic improvements. If you need something that definitely slides into your pocket and will fit in your purse without any problems, then the Flip Minnow is probably where you want to go. If you need a low-cost camcorder that records HD, you want that little bit of an HD bump, you don't necessarily need it to fit in your jeans pocket, but this is still a very portable camcorder in its own right, then the Flip Ultra HD is definitely for you. Thanks for watching this comparison video of Pure Digital's Flip Ultra HD and Flip Minnow HD. The same principles can be applied to the Flip Minnow and the Flip Ultra, which are both still available on the market, but don't have 720p. Essentially, they are the same as this with different sensors. I'm Michael Sherlock from youtube.com slash the revived one. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.